In order to create bigger numbers, we need faster growing functions. 2 plus n is an example of a function. But 2 times n grows faster than 2 plus n. But 2 to the power of n grows even faster. And in our previous video, we did the up arrow notation. We're adding just one arrow increased the operation drastically. This allowed us to make much larger numbers. But what if we wanted to go bigger? Bigger than any number up arrow notation can make. With a fast growing hierarchy, we can easily exceed Graham's number. But before we get too big, let me first introduce you to the basics. We have f. This denotes a function. And then we have alpha. This is the level of the function. And then we have n. This is the number we're going to input the function to. Let's have the first level, which is 0. That's f0 of n, which is equal to n plus 1. So if n equals 3, it's equal to 3 plus 1. If n equals 100, that's equal to 100 plus 1. Now let's have the next level, which is 1. f1 of n is equal to 2 times n. f2 of n is equal to 2 to the power of n times n. But what about f3 of n? That's equal to f2 of n with n repetitions of the f2 function. Let's have f3 of 2. That's equal to f2 of f2 of 2 with two repetitions. f2 of n, as we remember earlier, is equal to 2 to the power of n times n. f2 of 2, 2 to the power of 2 times 2. 2 to the power of 2. That's equal to 4, times 2, that's equal to 8. f2 of 8, 2 to the power of 8, times 8. 2 to the power of 8, 256, times 8, is 2048. But what about f3 of n, when n is equal to 3? That's f3 of 3. Because we have 3 as n, we do the f2 process 3 times f2 of 3, that's 2 to the power of 3 times 3, which is equal to 24 f2 of 24, that's 2 to the power of 24 times 24, which is 402 million. Now f2 of 402 million, that's 2 to the power of 402 million times 402 million. That's around 121 million digits. But we're only in the third level. If we do f4 of 3, that's going to be the f3 process three times. In general, we can say 
that f alpha of n is equal to f alpha minus 1 of n repeated n times. You can keep increasing the level like this, but no matter how big the number is, it won't get as fast as Graham's function. Let me kind of show you why. f0 of n is equal to n plus 1. It resembles addition. f1 of n is equal to a times n. This resembles multiplication. Now f2 of n is equal to 2 to the power of n times n. This resembles exponentiation. f3 of n resembles two arrows. As you can see, the higher of the level we get, the more arrows it adds to our operation. That's why it won't get as fast as Graham's function. Graham's function is defined as g sub n is equal to 3 with g sub n minus 1 arrows, where g1 is 3 with 4 arrows to 3. So, if we can't grow as fast as Graham's function no matter how big of a level we get, why are we using this notation? I said a while ago that we can easily surpass Graham's number. Yes, we can. Not just with finite numbers. This is when omega comes in handy. Omega is our first infinite ordinal. When we say ordinal, we're talking about the order. Omega comes after all the natural numbers. It's also our first limit ordinal. When we say a limit ordinal, nothing comes before it. So how exactly do we use something like this in the fast-growing hierarchy? When our level is equal to omega. There's this thing we call diagonalization. We have f1, f2, and f3. We have 1, 2, and 3. f1 of 1, that's equal to 2. f1 of 2, that's equal to 4. f1 of 3, that's equal to 6. f2 of 1, that's equal to 2 f2 of 2, that's equal to 8. f2 of 3, that's equal to 24. f3 of 1, that's 2. f3 of 2, that's 2048. f3 of 3, that's 121 million digits. Going diagonal, gets you really big numbers. f omega of 1, f omega of 2, f omega of 3, so on and so forth. f omega of n is equal to f n of n. So f omega of 100, that's equal to f 100 of 100. And then we have omega plus 1. Omega plus 1 is not bigger than omega. It just comes after omega. Remember, omega is an ordinal. So we're talking about the order. Let's say f omega plus 1 of 3. Remember, we did the previous operation. So what comes before omega plus 1? 
that's Omega. So we do the F Omega process three times. F Omega 3, as we've known earlier, is the 121 million digit number. Now F Omega 121 million digit number, that's F 121 million digits of 121 million digits. This is insanely big. Now F Omega of insanely big, that's F insanely big of insanely big. We can have Omega plus 2, Omega plus 3, Omega plus 4, so on and so forth. And then we have our next limit, which is Omega plus Omega, which can also be written as Omega times 2. I'll leave this for the next video.